Oh god, look at the fuel. Eh. I got poopy on me. He might be walking. Oh. All right, guys, so today we're doing a revival on a Polaris snowmobile. Now, we uh, acquired this a few years ago, and, uh, well, it hasn't run since. It did run when we first got it, but we hadn't done anything with it till now. So now we're going to get it running for the first time in years. And if we can get this thing running in today's video, we're going to take it around for a hot lap and see where it lands on the leaderboard. So let's, think, let's see if we can get this thing started. All right. Oh boy. Hey, the engine's there. We'll see if it has enough juice to uh, light this thing up. If not, we'll just do the screwdriver trick. I think it's touching in there. I don't know. It doesn't have the... Uh... It doesn't have the tip. Yeah. But it should be fine. I may have to hold it. Alright. You gonna pull it or am I? Yeah. So I'm guessing since you can't pull the key out, that's on. And then... Oh, here we go. So run, pull. Run, pull. Okay. Right. Hey, we got we got fire. We got fire on that one. Yeah. You want to check the other one or? Uh, might as well since right. it's so convenient. All it's right. got spark. Cool. Hey, check and see if it fires. Yeah. Yep. Oh wait. Oh, it still fires the ignition. It's still fire. Okay, so that doesn't work. But let's so see the if kill the, switch doesn't. Let's work. see if the key works. Uh. It still sparks. We might have an issue with cutting this thing off. Oh boy. Well, do you want to put some zip ties on the spark plug wires? Um so we can You know what? We'll we'll uh oh let's just jack this thing up on the rear. Yeah. Alright, I'll get uh, some jack stands. So if it does decide to run away, it won't really run away. Run away snowmo quad. Yeah. Uh so I think we need to uh put some fuel in it. And uh, we'll see what happens. I imagine we're going to have to clean out some carburetors. There's some fuel in there. Oh. Oh, yeah. Doesn't smell the greatest. Yeah. I bet you we got to clean out some carburetors. Oh. It smells really bad, so I'm going to take a look. Oh, my God. It looks like a bear got in here. What? Look at the... Look at how mangled it is. Oh, God. Look at the fuel. Ew. Someone lined the tank? Ooh. Oh, what is up with? Yeah, why did it get like mangled like that? What is going on there? Here I am messing with stuff, and I made it spring a leak. Do you think the line cracked? Yeah, yeah. it cracked. I can feel I mean, it. That's it's a dry. Steady, uh... It's dry right on the bottom. But we'll replace yeah. all. We'll replace the fuel lines. All right. But um, bummer. It is what it is, dude. Yeah. So it, we're gonna remove the, the fuel tank, and we're gonna empty it out and we're gonna put some fresh fuel in it. And yeah. it looks like we're gonna have to replace some lines too, so. Yeah, it's pretty gross. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so just like in years past, Charles is hand-making Christmas ornaments or desk ornaments uh, modeled after our most popular build of the year. So this year, uh, we're modeling it after our Land Speed Bonneville mini bike that's gone 92 miles an hour. Not at Bonneville so far this year. So we have a spark plug in the center, we have high-speed bearings as wheels. Looks really, really cool. Uh, very, uh, very faithful to the original design. Each model is numbered, and it has the year on it as well for those of you guys who are going on year three in a row. And 100% of the proceeds are going to Charles and his family. So Thank you. if you've gotten a chuckle or a laugh at anything Charles has said or done this year, uh, consider picking one of these up at cars-cameras.com. It's the awesome, it's the perfect way to support Charles and family like I said. So it's nice and balanced, so it'll fit on the tree. It'll probably be the most durable Christmas ornament you ever have, and it'll also balance like that. Each ornament has been smoothed down and clear coated, so it'll last years and years and years. So head to cars-cameras.com, pick one of these up. Again, 100% of the proceeds go to Mr. Charles and his family. Thanks for the support, guys. Thank y'all. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. Oh, don't spill it. Fuel tank's in our hands. That's a lot of fuel, too. Ugh. Look at that. That's, that wasn't too bad, dude. No. Uh, so I'm going to go outside and empty out the fuel tank. 
Uh, I guess I'll get the air filters off and uh, you work on start pulling the fuel, start fuel lines. Yeah, stuff. I'll start replacing the fuel lines. Um, you know, we things. should probably go ahead and take the carburetors off and clean out the bowls. Okay. Ike just splashed it on himself, and he hates the smell of this stuff. I, I don't think, I don't know of anybody that likes it, but, um, golly, I've got a dinner, I've got a dinner oh. date, because it's, oh, I've got a dinner date tonight, because it's my wife's birthday, and I'm going to stink like this gas. It's not going down. It's touching the bottom. I got poopy on me. It's not going down. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. That's it, buddy. All right, thank you. All right, so Charles went ahead and removed the caps and the chokes. All we have to do now is remove the little clamp for the... Just loosen those things, yeah. yeah. Should just pop right on off. Carefully. Oh, yeah, I don't want to rip it. Look at that. All right, so uh, we're going to take it over to the table, and we are going to... Ooh, it's slimy on the bottom. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah, and we're going to clean these things out. Oh. It's going to be pretty bad, dude. Yeah. Gonna be all gelled up. But hopefully, time. two stroke means it might not be too bad. Well, that's a hope. I have yet to see any evidence of two stroke. Oh. Ew. It's pretty gross. That's pretty bad. Is that a film in there or is that corrosion? What is that? Look at that little brass piece that I got floating around. What? Whoa. Oh dear. I wonder what that went to. Oh, that's bad. Wait a minute. This might be old damage. Yeah. Oh my god. I've got wow. a brass thing oh in there too. Oh my gosh, look at that. Your pilot, your pilot port is completely ah, gone. This, this is my float pin. Your float pin? Yep. Oh, one of your float pins came out. Okay. The float pin is out. Oh dear. Yep, sure is. Uh, we don't really, so these little plastic caps keep the uh, oh, it keeps them float warm. from, well, you can just are they it. stuck? Mine aren't. But I got, oh, no, I don't know, they're, they're fine. Uh, you know, they are not as bad as I was thinking. Dude, look at that. Yeah, it's, it's bad. It got, yeah, I got. I think, uh, just. Uh, spraying them out with some brake clean and stuff and re-gluing my little pin that that fell yeah. out and uh, we might be in business. It looks like it's spent some time in my fish tank. The salt water one. It's bad. The uh, float pin fell, fell out of the foam uh, float and... Can I show you what a float pin is? Thank so you. On these floats they've got these little pins in here you see when it's like this, when I turn it upside down, it kind of, you know, that's what gravity does, what the fuel does. But the uh, the pins work the needle valve arms on either side. So I just re gluing one in, and hopefully he does it right, because, I mean, he does, he's done it before. We are replacing the existing fuel lines. Uh, they just sat in here for too long. They were probably great. They were probably in great shape when he gave them to us, but uh, they have completely dry rotted. It shattered on the fuel pump. So, working on the far carburetor for Ike. Yep. And then I will plumb up mine. Now I'm gonna work on uh, alignment. I'm gonna try to get this thing lined up so oh. when we take it on the lap, it's gonna do a lot better. Good. That's my plan. So there's the second to last. So once the fuel tank gets in, I'll trim this, finish plumbing it up, but now I'm gonna finish hooking up the carburetors. Let's see. One one piece at a time. Charles, you getting some gas? Huh? You getting some gas? Are you ready to get that tank in? Oh, still stinks. Dude, I feel like we're getting close to a ride, bud. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just 
tank is real simple. It's got a holder at the back, so you got to pick up on the front of it and drop it down into the slot on the rear. And then it has this really oh, yeah. cool uh, spring that just pulls over the front and it holds the tank in place. So simple. Not bad. So simple. So fuel line, and then we're yeah. gonna top this thing up. You mind handing me the, uh, the cutters right over there? Sure. Mind. Talking about these wire strippers. Yeah. I hadn't paid attention, but is there any filter in line? Yeah, right here. Okay, cool. All right. We're going to add a couple of gallons of fuel, pre mix, and, uh, we're going to try to fire this thing up. Hey man, dude, check the oil on this thing. <laughs> I think we're okay. Alright, so we got everything installed. We have fuel in it. We got a 40 to 1 mix. Check the oil. Yeah, 40 to 1 mix. So we are ready to fire it up. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, choke. Oh my. Hey! Yeah, man. Almost. You got the choke off? I think Charles is having fun. I hope. I think I still hear it running. Ding. Sounds like a chainsaw. Yeah, Charles. I don't think he's gonna do anything. I'm not sure where Charles went to. He might be walking. All right, I'm walking back. So it turns out Charles has uh, had some technical difficulty. It's just not wanting to run. Stuck behind the shop here. Will it crank up at all? No. Oh. That's why it's just getting pulled back. So I guess we're heading back to the shop and uh, trying to figure out what happened with it. I'll uh, pull on it and see you. Uh, run, pull. Okay. 
You know, what, what you want to watch? You want to watch the, the We're fuel? We're going to look and see if okay. the fuel okay. tries to, uh, to pull. biggest thing right now is the alignment because I was going down the lane not even too fast and this thing was just so uh, we're gonna do a little bit of alignment try to straighten some things out Ike has just informed me that we have a fuel leak from the, uh, the, the left carburetor that's the one you rebuilt it's a line no I, it's okay I, which line the black line it's not even uh, that's a pulse that's a pulse uh, pump yeah is that oil that's Yeah, it might be just oil. Okay. Who knows? Well that could affect the the uh how well the pulse pump works. Well do you want to pull that line and maybe replace it? Yeah, we'll pull that line and replace it because I've noticed that the fuel delivery is not that great. Okay. And so if if there's a hole in the line, the pulse isn't that strong. Oh yeah. Alright, cool. So Yeah, let's take right. care of that. Um so here we have the uh front wheels. Not supposed to be wheels on this. It's supposed to be skis. Uh, and the, the tie rods. It's pretty simple. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to be able to adjust it pretty easy. I'm going to loosen up that lock nut right there. And there's an, one over here on the opposite side. And I'm going to turn on this blue collar. And it's going to pull in on the wheel. Straightening the wheels out, hopefully. And making it more... Here, work the steering real quick. Just to give them uh, an idea. Okay. Yeah. So the silver one is connected to the steering. No, uh, handlebars. Handlebars. Whatever. Yeah. Steering wheel. Yeah. Snowmobile things. We don't know. Yeah. Stuff that we don't do in North Carolina. <laughs> no. <laughs> Someone has not put the tie rod ends correctly. Uh, one of them is in probably four turns further than the other one. So to make them adjust evenly, I'm going to undo the outside tie rod end and... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and screw everything together and then I'll put the tie rod in back onto the steering rod. Okay, cool. Pittman. 
the thing. The steering knuckle thing. Thank I don't know what yeah. that is. <laughs> it would still be a steering knuckle, wouldn't it? Alright, so uh, normally it'd be real easy to just, if things were lined up correctly, we would drop a wrench. So you'd loosen this, and then you grab some uh, panel locks, or, or, or sometimes they have a little slot that you can put a wrench on, on this, and you just turn this rod. And what it's doing right now is it's pulling in on the rear yeah, of the it's tires turning that wheel like this. Uh, but I've already uh, I've already bottomed out this side so I've got to take this loose and try to finish the rest of the way have you noticed I'm not wearing camo today oh yeah it's cold so you can you can see me don't oh um, uh, um, I, how are you, is your hand okay? I, it didn't hurt me, no. All right. Wow, that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it did the, oh man, it did the, the Duramax thing, uh, the truck pull. Oh my goodness. Yeah, with, without the upgraded tie rods. Oh yeah, no, goodness. no offense, no offense to the original owners. It's just, we're, they oh. gave it to us, we're giving it back. It was running when they gave it to us, so we're going to give it back to them, hopefully running. Fingers crossed. She's still towed in, dude. Whoa. And I got them pulled out a lot. See, that's like it going straight, pretty much. And then that one. Whoa. Turning left. And this one, yeah, it's a little turning right. Wow. It is towed in quite a bit. Okay, so maybe I have to undo the little pinch there and get Oh, it yeah. Maybe we can adjust it there. Maybe it's bumped. Like it, it bumped it like the, the splines or something. It slipped. Yeah, but if it we bumped it, it would probably turn it the other way. Oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can, let's see if we can undo that. Yeah. So we're going to maybe undo this pinch bolt. We're going to do this pinch bolt here because it's like splined. Kind of like a, uh, kind of like, what do you think? Like a Kickstarter or a shifter? Yeah. Same, same kind of deal. Yeah. So we're going to uh, hopefully get this apart, slip it up, and adjust it. Uh, yeah. Oh, we're going to grease that knuckle too, both of them. So since this thing's so far towed in, we're going to take this arm off and we're going to actually rotate it a little bit on this spline shaft. I have marked this shaft and I need that red line to be on this side of that red line. Okay. So, yeah. so we're going to just hammer this thing out. And we're gonna lube it up at the same time. Huh! There we go. Oh! You got it? Oh, so I was squeezing some grease in there. Yeah. Right. So uh we thought we were gonna have to do this because the brass uh, the the Well we'll still we'll still grease it, but yeah. the grease fitting has broken off on this and uh Makes it a little hard to grease the thing, so, it doesn't it? Yep, and I will clean the dirt off. Oh God! I'll clean the dirt off and put some tape on that, so the dirt doesn't return. Sounds good. So we got this thing lubed up really good. Oh yeah, watch out! And uh, now we're going to put yeah, it back together. Try to. There we go. Oh goodness, my mark. There's my mark. That was pretty goopy. It was. And this needed to go on the inside of that red. So she's towed out big time. But at this point, I can adjust. Oh, yeah, look at that. I can adjust that yeah. rod and push for it fine in. Tuning. So now I'm adjusting this rod, and we're going to see. Now that Ike seems to have gotten the alignment kind of squared away, uh, he seemed to have like noticed like a running issue. So we've already gone through the carburetors. They may have picked up something. We don't know. It's got a fuel filter. But uh, we might as well just pull something easy and check the spark plugs. Good gracious, that's tight. Holy cow. We've never had these spark plugs out. No. Okay. Wow. 
That wasn't coming out at all. <coughs> so let's just see the condition of them. Oh, not too bad. That looks pretty good. I don't see anything alarming on that. Cool. And That's honestly, good. I think I'd rather it be a little fat than than too lean. That's true. And yeah, because uh, it, it seems to be uh seems to be smoking pretty good whenever uh, you're running it. So I don't I don't think we're running it low on oil or anything. Yeah. Unless there's a lot of uh, build, build up. up in the pipe. Well, we did the uh, what did we do a 41 mix. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I, I went online and that's what people said they were doing, so we that's why we, wrong, but we, don't know. we went with the 40 to 1. Yep, same condition. Yeah, it looks fine. At one point, it's running evenly. Yeah. We don't know if it's running on both cylinders all the time. Yeah. But. So, uh, I'm going to just look it up on the phone and see what a good... Uh, Two stroke spark plug looks like. Yeah, so okay. I'm gonna look it up right now. That's how I judge it. Whenever, yep. whenever I'm guessing. So according to my phone here, a good running two stroke spark plug should be brown or gray. And what we have, we had gray. Was it that, or I thought it was like a, it was a, a charcoal gray. Yeah, it might be. It, a, it might be a little rich on the on the oil. So. Which, oh, it said light gray. So ah, yeah. Uh, so ours is a little bit more sooty. So it might. You know what? It's fine because it's still warm weather. Yeah. And it's going to get colder when we take this thing to Busco. So mm -hmm. we might have the perfect. Yeah. Uh, That's okay. Yeah, let's just give it a shot. Let's yeah. See a, let's throw a helmet on one of us and uh, take it for a hot lap. Sounds good. Actually, both of us. So Charles is going to go check out the track for us. We are going to only do two laps on this thing uh, mainly because we don't want to tear it up and there's some other issues the track is uh, starting to get in pretty bad shape uh, you can see this crack right here right there uh, this whole track the whole way around there's nothing but uh, cracks and we're afraid that we're gonna blow the track off this thing. So uh, since we're giving this thing away, we want it to be somewhat useful. Uh, and uh, we don't wanna give one that, that doesn't work at all. So that's why we're only gonna make two laps with this is because the track is in such bad shape. So now we're gonna put the, the snowmo quad on the track and uh, see what kind of time we get. So I'm not saying this thing's going to be like extremely fast on this track. Uh, it's, it's a little fun, but we've got some issues with the track. Uh, we also have something like slipping under there. I checked the tightness of the track and it seemed to be fine. So I don't know what's going on, but you know, it was having these issues before we got it and well, darn it, still got the issues. <laughs> but it's running again and uh, we're setting a uh, record time for a snowmobile on our track. Like I said, record time for on a snowmobile on our track, 116.84. Not too bad. Was it twitchy at all? No, not too bad. Really? Uh, so the twitchiest part was where the tires 
yeah. and the track are trying to fight each other yeah. with the rut okay. in the road. Because you know how there's the crown in the center and yeah. the tire track? This thing's, it's like a weird, it's a backwards three-wheeler. Okay. So it's it's trying to just find its groove and it's not, it's, it's meant for the snow. Of I course. Guess, I, it's, it's not this thing's fault, but dude, right. that, was, that was really fun. We've never had this around the, hot, the, the Grand Prix, so I, I had a great time. Well, good. Yeah, good, uh, steering good, day, wheel. good way to start off the work day. Yeah, you know what I mean? Steering wheel cocked going down the road? Uh, no, this is because I'm in a hole right here. Oh, okay, it's cool. High, it's high. See, see what I mean? Yeah. That, so it's like you find a low spot here and it's higher there. Yeah. It really does do this on yeah. you. And the seat's kind of smooth. Oh, man, the seat is but so it's, cushy. Oh, man, like you could, you could sleep on this. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't... All right. <laughs> All right, so uh, I'm going to say it's my turn on the lap. Yeah, uh, now. yeah, yeah. And, uh, Have fun with it, man. Just, uh, just take it easy. I think the I the, cog, the the noise is the cogs. Are I think jumping. the cogs are jumping, and, and, and it's knows? just weird. Dude, you know, it might be cat. It literally might be the track. We know it's in bad shape, but yeah. what if the track is actually gripping, and the cogs are just spinning? Yeah. Like what? Yeah, hey, yeah, that off. All right, oh, you ready? On your mark. Oh no! Oh no! Ike, are you okay? Good. Oh! I busted the tire, didn't I? No, we broke the tie rod. Oh boy. When I when I turned in, it, it turned too fast. Oh dear. We gotta fix that. Yeah. Are you okay though? Yeah. Did you tumble? No. Oh, you just you just stayed on your feet, didn't you? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. I think the tire's okay, the rim's okay, but golly, we broke the tire. Dude, you've had the key, you've had the keys for like two seconds. That's a record. That's a new record, <laughs> Does that right? Mean I gotta wear the helmet the rest no, of the No, no, you didn't you didn't you didn't end up on your back, so. Yeah. And I didn't have to wear the helmet when I flipped my bike, so no yeah. big deal. Uh I mean we yeah, we gotta find welded. a we gotta find a tire. That's aluminum. That's aluminum. We can see yeah. about getting it welded, maybe. Okay. Yeah. Or maybe we find a Go Power Sports tie rod. It, I doubt it. Okay. All right. Well. All right. Well, that takes care of that. Is uh -oh. the clock still ticking? Yeah, it's up there on the hill. Uh -oh. I, I I left my phone. <laughs> so I just heard kind of a crash, and it, it. I mean, it really. Judging by the way the tracks, like, look at the grooves. He just sh slid yeah, it, it in. an immediate stop. Golly, dude, yeah. All right, well, we got to fix this thing because we can't give it away broken. Oh, no, we got to take it to <laughs> Moscow in three days. <laughs> oh, we're going to lose the shop. We ought to get this thing uh, fixed. Okay. closer um you know what else i noticed sir oh yeah the, uh, this didn't happen when we were towing it back are you sure it didn't happen when we were towing it back what that yeah are you sure no that was you did that when are you, you sure you did that when you crashed are you sure? it <laughs> so we got this thing straightened out pretty good so uh charles actually found this pipe and we are going to brace this thing up square tubing yeah I'm gonna cut the top out of this, which is gonna allow me to slide up from underneath. I'm going to trim out here a little bit so I can slide it forward, but it's gonna be butted up to that, but it's gonna actually be like right there. And that'll allow a strip to be underneath that we weld up. So it's gonna be kind of like this, but like this, but like that, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, Charles, he's gonna be working on uh, finding the uh, steering linkage. Oh boy! To yeah. fit on this thing. While what's, what's wrong with that one? Oh, it's a trophy. It's trophy material now. That is true. So, uh, so we're gonna set up another time lapse where me and Charles can both get on this because we don't want to be too late in the afternoon taking this on another hot lap. Yeah, your final hurrah. Hopefully, I don't wreck it again. Oh no. <laughs> Right. 
right. so Ike's second run on the snow mo quad. Yeah. Uh, was it post wreck? who doesn't know this is the culvert that Ike hit so I think I rode over it like this his tire was in here see this is the inside of the tire rubbing right there and yeah it was bad 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 but things are getting it hopefully he's okay as long as I keep hearing it running and revving up uh, we should be all right <laughs> done all right well i guess that answers that i felt pretty good about that time that was hey not bad um i didn't go all out well we don't need to because yeah. i mean you know and uh i went smooth you know smooth as fast yeah so uh and definitely on the out edge of out of control for that thing it was actually pretty good <laughs> not bad not bad so uh let's go to the leaderboard and uh, let's go ahead and put the uh, sticker on the top three. All right, your new nickname is Culvert. I like that. <laughs> I, got my, I got your time. I got your time. It's a secret. It's, it's definitely a, a secret. It's a scorcher. Oh, it's definitely a scorcher. Now tell me, do you think oh, no, you are nice. anywhere on this board? Dude, I think I'm below 15. <laughs> but that's okay, because we were... We were just trying to be concerned. Oh, it was fun. Yeah. And, yes, and we were taking it somewhat easy on the snowmo quad. I was about three quarters. I think yeah. I could have gone a bit faster, but the competitive side of me wanted to go faster than Charles. And I did say we needed to take it easy on the uh, on the snowmo quad because the track is severely yeah. cracked. It and looks like it's going to fail any moment. And, and the cogs are slipping. And, and that's like the main drive gear that the motor spins that yeah. touches the track. And that's the noise that you were hearing. That yeah. or whatever. Yeah. So I just was like on the throttle the least amount so that noise didn't happen. Yeah. So that my time might suffer, but that's okay. Yeah. But it's running so much oh, better. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's steering so much better. Okay. I'm really happy with it. And I'm hoping uh, that the... Uh, Previous owners slash new owners are going to enjoy it at uh, Busco. So, uh, Charles, uh, you want to do one one number at a time? I'm man. I'm just gonna. Okay. Oh, all okay. right. That's fine. All right. On three. Old school. All right. First number. One, two, three. One. one. All right. Second number. One, two, three. Zero. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow. That's five. Uh, five. Oh, oh goodness. All right. all right. So you ready for the yeah. third one? Oh boy. Yep. Oh wait, yeah, yours. Is I'm already one. faster. So. Yeah, so you did. Ike got me. He did. He got me by like probably more than five seconds. So he did it in a 105.67. I'm not on the board, but that's okay because we'll just put you down yeah. here. Charles did it in one sixteen eighty four. That's fine. I finished. I mean, dude, with, I finished without you, crashing. I, technically, you won because I did crash. I, that's fine. So Charles. Technically goes faster, but we did have to fix we're it. Not, I don't like winning on a technicality, yeah. but that's okay. So, don't, don't uh, worry about it. And I'm, I'm just glad you're okay, man. That oh, man. Been, it could have been so much worse. Full-on um, toss. Yeah, it was. So, guys, uh, all the parts that we used in this video, we're going to link in the description. And uh, I would say if y'all would like to see more of it, let us know, but we're not going to have it after this weekend. So... But uh, if you want us to look for one and maybe build something similar to this, another maybe little, one, maybe, maybe, maybe maybe we'll consider that. So, yeah. uh, guys, make sure you go to cars-cameras.com and get yourself some merch. Get you a hat, a t-shirt, a hoodie because stickers. It's hoodie season. Oh yeah, it's getting cold. Hoodie Long season. Sleep. We got to get rid of some hoodies. So, uh, guys, thanks for watching, and we will catch y'all later. Anything else, Charles? Ah, uh, no, that's it. No, we're good. Yeah, no, we're good. 
All right, let's move on to the next project. Oh boy. I'm excited. So we got the Sonoma Quad out here and uh, well, before we get rid of it, we got to hit the drag strip for one last pass. So let's get on out there. It's doing snowmobile things. Yeah. Do you need help? Does it need gas? No, I, I put gas in. Oh yeah, I mean, but like throttle. Needs a key on. That'll help. <laughs> Nailed it! Buddy, ready? Here you go. And... So as soon as we gave the snowmo quad back to Matt from Rattle Can Customs, it completely exploded. The main drive cog blew up on it. He drove it about four feet, maybe less than that. Sorry, Matt. So right in there's the gear drive, the reduction drive. Here's the chain for it. Notice it's not connected anymore. I literally was gonna take it to the drag strip because you know I'm limping and this is an auto and it's literally the only auto thing we have. And me and Danny spun it around, pointed it out, and I no more gave it just one blip of throttle and that chain snapped into and bound. Oh dear. We gotta fix that. Yeah. Are you okay though? Yeah. Did you tumble? No. Oh, you just you just stayed on your feet, didn't you? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. I think the tire's okay, the rim's okay, but golly, we broke the tire. Dude, you've had the key you've had the keys for like two seconds. 